on the phone, download in this new app. It's one where you answer questions to win cash. It streams live every night at nine, hosted by some Jew. You get a push on this typical Wednesday night, but it's not so typical on the first sight. It's the first ever Taylor Swift themed HQ. Oh, I'm sorry. The old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Why? Because she's playing HQ. And so are you on Taylor Swift Trivia Night. Because you know I love the players and you love the game. Hello, HQties. I am your first string A team host, starring in your bad dreams, your lonely Starbucks lover, Scott Rogowski. Live from a dive bar on the east side, where you at? With Taylor Nation including Brianna, Bree, Dana, Fritzy, who has 13 extra lives, and Sam's buddy Joe celebrating a birthday, plus these extremely moderate, level-headed fans who sent in some photos. Let's take a look at them. Here we got, is that Rachel? Uh, who is that? Uh, that's uh, that's uh, Jack. Yeah, and Caroline and Denise, AKA Joe's Deli Girls. Hello, Joe's Deli Girls. Emily at Angel of Cities, holding the Grammy. Brittany, who was invited to Tay Tay's Nashville house to listen to Reputation early. Yeah, OB Dr. Kenobi at Dr. Dre 1303. Haley Lynn, Haley Lynn Taylor is my queen, of course, queen of my heart, and Michelle. And I guess someone else there. Or maybe I had those out of order. I don't know. I also want to give an extra special shout out tonight to my quiz daddy, the king of my heart, his majesty, Alex Trebek. I read the news today. Oh boy. On behalf of all of us here at HQ HQ, we are pulling for you, sir. You can fight this and you will win. Maybe you're going to win tonight. It may be Ash Wednesday, my dudes, but it's Cash Wednesday here on HQ. If you can answer all 13 questions and reach endgame, your wildest dreams are gonna come true. You'll be named king or queen of Taylor trivia and rewarded with a share of our $5,000 cash prize. If you don't know why we're asking 13 questions tonight, you're probably not gonna do too well. Just saying. Will this quiz be a nightmare dressed like a daydream? It'll go down easier if you have an extra life at the ready. It's gonna help you stay in the game if you get a question wrong. It can only be used once per game, not on the final question. You can buy one now if you don't have one. Hooray, capitalism! Yeah, or you can play five days in a row and get one for free, refer your friends, yada, yada, yada. Now, if you're a fan of Taylor, I'm guessing you would very much like to be included in this narrative. This quiz will leave you breathless or with a nasty scar. And if you got nothing in your brain, this show's gonna be trouble, trouble. Ooh, look what you made me cue. Look what you made me cue. Look what you just made me cue. Look what you just made me cue. Players gonna play, 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 play. So let's get down to the nitty gritty with over 400,000 of you live in this game around the world. Let's get down to the nitty swifty. How about that? Let's get this Taylor Swift show on the road. It's Cumero numero uno time. Taylor Swift's fans often call themselves what? Swifties, Katy Cats, or Little Monsters. How many Taylor Swift fans are out there in the HQ universe right now? Where's my Taylor trash at? Swiffer wet jets, make some noise. No, that's not what you're called. You're Swifties, of course. Yeah, oh yeah. You gotta get Swifty. You gotta get Swifty in here. Katy Cats are Katy Perry's fans. Little Monsters, of course, are, are Kelly fans. 332,394. You're getting Swifty in a real way tonight. You're getting Q too. What famous couple does Taylor heavily reference in Love Story? Jack and Rose, Brangelina, or Romeo and Juliet? We just overdosed on Jack and Rose in our Titanic theme show on Monday. The love story Taylor's talking about here goes back a bit further, all the way to Billy Shake's classic trage, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, Romeo, take me somewhere we can be alone. 299,795 are not alone at Q3 tonight. Just say yes. But before we get to Q3, let me tell you what's happened tomorrow night. The girl power continues tomorrow with the first show my mom has a decent chance of winning. Yeah, Golden Girls Trivia. We're dropping in on 6151 Richmond Street, Miami with Dorothy Rose, Blanche Devereaux, and Sophia Petrillo. Maybe we'll ask about Stanley and Miles too, the Golden Boys. Mm, probably not, we'll stick to the girls. Q3, according to her hit song, Taylor knew you were in trouble when you what? Sat down, shook hands, or walked in. This song is supposedly about Harry Styles, that bad boy from 1D. According to recently leaked excerpts from the Mueller report, he left Taylor stranded 
on a boat in the middle of nowhere. She should have known he was trouble. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. When, when he walked in or I guess took the boat out of the harbor, dro drove out, drove in. How do you, I don't know. 288,708 having no trouble tonight with this Taylor Swift night. You're getting Q4. Tay Tay Bay Bay Hey. Taylor burst out onto the country music scene with a song about who? Tim McGraw, Blake Shelton, or Dolly Parton. We are throwing it back a day early, folks, all the way to June 19, 2006. When Taylor's debut single was released, she was just 15 years old and a budding country music darling, singing about Tim McGraw. Uh-huh. For what it's worth, when I think Tim McGraw, I think Tug McGraw. You gotta believe! 209,826 believing in themselves. You knew it was Tim McGraw. Blake Shelton, friend of the show, did appear with me on our episode with The Voice. Not the answer here. Q5. What does Taylor not dress up as in the Shake It Off music video? A tap dancer, a ballerina, or a cheerleader? Taylor pokes fun at her own dancing ability in this video. She tries her hand at just about every dance style, from interpretive to hip-hop, ballet, and cheer. But, uh, she, uh, she never straps on those tap dancing shoes. Doesn't strap the tap. Tap dancer is your answer. And we got 42,000 tapped out at Q5, but 169,001 are gonna keep cruising. Can't stop, won't stop moving to Q6. According to a widespread theory, Taylor was once smuggled out of her apartment in a what? Laundry hamper, big suitcase, or Persian rug. Now, to be fair, no one could ever prove that this was true, but no one has ever proved it wasn't. Does this photo depict Taylor avoiding paparazzi in a big suitcase? It appears to be, uh, ask Zane, M maybe he'll tell you over pillow talk. Big suitcase is your answer. 117,881, making a case to win HQ tonight, getting carried over to Q7, past the halfway point we go. Which of these songs literally means, <laughs> literally mentions receipts? Look what you made me do, call it what you want, or I did something bad. Mentions receipts. All three of these songs out to set or settle some score one, one way or the other, but only one references receipts, presumably Kim K's, and that's this one. They got their pitchforks and proof, their receipts and reasons. Parental advisory, I did something bad, is the first and only Swift song with an explicit lyric. We're not gonna play that one. Ooh, but what it did bring us was a savage question. Another parental advisory here. Explicit lyrics, savage questions. I did something bad. Yeah, 85,000 you did something bad by tapping the right answer. 32,972 doing something good tonight. The rest of you, you gotta leave before you get left. Ouchie, wowie. Q8, which of these Grammys did Taylor Swift win the year she wore this outfit? Take a look. There's the outfit, iconic. The bob cut. Was it best country album song of the year or album of the year? Those are your options. Which of these Grammys did Taylor Swift win the year she wore that outfit? Best country album, song of the year, album of the year. Tiananmen Square, The Velvet Revolution, Exxon Valdez Disaster, The Earthquake World Series, The Birth of Taylor Swift. It all happened in 1989 and her 2014 album honoring that iconic year slayed the 58th Grammy Awards with seven nominations and three wins, including Album of the Year. Yes sir, Bobby. 27,120, got this one right. She should also won Best Dressed. Let's be honest, Swifties. We're moving swiftly, 160 to Q9. Taylor Swift does not have a cat named after a lead character from which show? Law & Order SVU, Scandal, or Grey's Anatomy. Well, Tay's got two kit Tays, and they are cute. Let's take a look at those kitty cats. One is named Meredith Grey. Mm-hmm, Grey's Anatomy. And the other is named Olivia. Olivia Benson. Mm-hmm, Mariska Hargitay's character in Law & Order SVU. Not Olivia Pope, Kerry Washington's character in Scandal. Scandal is your answer here. 23,703 H cuties are perfect. 
through nine questions tonight. You got four more to answer. Remember, 13 questions tonight. Lucky 13. It's going to be lucky for some of you. Q10. What song did Taylor perform at the infamous Kanye interrupting VMAs? Back to December, teardrops on my guitar, or you belong with me. These were such innocent times, pre the narrative. Oh, and by the way, Kanye, Taylor was already famous without you, okay? I suppose you think you made Pablo Picasso famous too, huh? Right before this indelible pop culture moment at the 2009 VMAs, Taylor performed You Belong With Me, he, he. HQ Belong with 18,328. Who got that one right? And You Belong at Q11, not the penultimate question tonight. You got, you got three more questions here, 11, 12, and 13. Here we go. The final three. Which of these is a real character name in the Bad Blood video? Lil Bay, Freaky Minaj, or Slay Z? Got no videos, too. Taylor's girl gang was in full effect in this vid. Who needs dudes when your squad includes Selena, Lena, Zendaya, Alba, Carly, Cara, Cindy, and Gigi? Hadidi, who played Slay Z in the video. Sorry, the Joseph Kahn film. Slazy is your answer here. Who's slaying with me? 15,436. Got this one right. Oh, for 3,000 plus of you, you know what used to be mad love, but I only got love for the 15,436. Still in this game, still in it to win it at Q12. Not the final question. Remember, one more after this. What emoji did Taylor Swift include in her famed excluded from this narrative note statement? Smile, snake, or no emoji? You may be in quizness mode right now, but Taylor was in business mode when she composed this post in 2016. Even though just about all posts since have been swarmed with snakes, business Taylor did not use nary an emoji. No emojis in that notes. And I'm seeing a savage emoji. Is there a savage emoji? Let's put that in here. Let's add that here at Q12, because we're in the savage garden, truly, madly, deeply, at Q12, we lost 11,000 in a single question, 4,674. Ooh, you've come all the way. The rest of you were so close, so close, but no e sig. 4,674. You're here, you're with me. Q13, the final question, it all boils down to this for the ultimate Taylor Swift fan bragging rights. Who is the true Swifty among you? And $5,000, I mean, that's pretty good. Q13, what tabloid fodder does Taylor visually reference in her Look What You Made Me Do video? The Kennedy Compound House, I Heart TS, or Rhode Island Seawall? Hmm. Tom Hiddleston, <laughs> remember him? Boyfriend number 27? He'll never live down the day he got photographed wearing that impossibly skin tight white tank at Taylor's 4th of July weekend. I mean, the ridicule was real and well-deserved. I mean, who would ever wear something so, just so, gosh darn, stupid as an I heart Taylor Swift A shirt? Uh, I heart TS? That, that's, that's the answer. 4,368. You are our big, big Taylor Swift winners, baby. Woo! <laughs> I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But the 4,368 of you have one of the best HQs of all time. One of the best HQs of all time. The rest of you, well, at least you went out in style. You were just too delicate tonight. But 4,368 from the nearly 400,000 who started this quiz, congratulations. Scream it from the mountaintops. You know more about Taylor Swift than anybody else in the world. And you're walking away with $1.14 or 15 depending on how the cookie crumbles, for your troubles. Oh boy, Maleficent, Blooms01, Word Girl, Brooke KP, Ash Marie, Izzy Jones, Evelyn, Alex Coons. Congrats to all of you and so many more. By the way, Word Girl, do you like words? You can play HQ Words coming up right now after Trivia 930. 13 minutes from now, Anna Roisman will be taking you through the words, puzzles. All that jazz. If you want to quiz on the IRL and you live in or around Chicago, catch me at the Laugh Factory Friday night. Yeah, go to scottrogowski.com. 
for tickets. If you want to keep our relationship purely phone-based, that's fine. I'm back here tomorrow at 9p for Golden Girls. Uh-huh. That's right. And join us Sunday at 9p for a Jonathan Swift theme show. JK, we would never do something so intellectual. It's Game of Thrones night on Sunday. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're doing it. Until I see you all again, I'm Scott Rogowski. Signing off. Saying, if you can see that I'm the one who understands you. This is terribly out of tune. I'm not even going to try it. Good night, everybody. Bye.